hard to do a crawl without everybody present. Well, that's because he's running up and down Gratiot with the CB radio in there with all the Gratiot cruisers. Uh, you're playing CB tag. That's right. I'm I'm on 11 now, Don. Oh, well, I know, but what's that got to do with the repeater crawl? Well, the people on 11 are more fun than the tweets on the repeater crawl. Okay, I, I just don't understand it. I'm trying to get some clarification here. What it, what does that do? What what do they do that for? Was that a good uh, was that a good uh, you know what uh, uh, correlation with me with that, Sean? Do what? Was was that a good example of uh, you know a, a good description of why you want to be on 11 and not on the repeater crawl? Oh, I don't know. You, you please repeat it. I said because being on 11 is more fun than being on a repeater call, crawl with all of the dweebs. I don't know, man. Maybe. I thought that was pretty accurately described. Yeah, I don't understand the point of that. What am I missing? Oh, man. Don, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what you'd be missing if you got on the repeater crawl. All right, I'm sitting down. Go ahead. Your dignity. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't have to worry about that. I, I think I got on it once, and then, then they're doing simplex channel, and they said, well, what's with the repeater crawl if you're doing simplex? Well, that's just part of it. Oh, we got to get out of simplex, too. Well, then don't call it the repeater crawl. Call it the radio crawl or something. I don't know. But I, I try not to think about it too much. the 44355 and I just heard something about the repeater crawl. No way. Serious. But QRZ.com, a lot of people put their stuff out there with it. Yeah, it's my buddy Nor. Oh, is that Nor? Yes, it is. I like Nor. I haven't heard Nor or Al in a while. Yeah, I talked to him today. He's a good guy. I talk to Al too on Simplex usually. Al doesn't like repeaters a lot. Al's got a eight element two meter beam and he's been working a lot of simplex, so he likes reaching out to uh repeaters in other states. Oh, you mean the frowned upon operations? Uh, I don't know about frowned upon, what's wrong with that? Uh, reaching out to repeaters in other states, uh how? Uh through R F or through the internet? Well, through the RF, he's got an 80 element beam. Uh, DXing repeaters, Don, is, is a frowned upon operation. By whom? The American Radio Relay League. Okay, well, I guess he hasn't uh, got the message yet. But he did get his extra, so that counts for something. Double UXL. W80. Well, the 5.5 five is only like uh, 50, about 52 or 53 over S9. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why he's running that much there's power. He's there? running like 200 watts, but I think he wants regional <sighs> coordination, and to keep that, he has to have a coverage area. Is that the crawl on the double nickel? Got our own rig. Ne negative. I don't think so because the, the crawl is, starts off at the GM and the double nickel would just be a stopping point. I think it's got to be over by now. It starts at like 7. Okay, so they're just uh, doing uh, post, uh, post crawl uh, jibber jabber. That's what I that's what I gather, yeah, because I was talking to Norton. He says, well, uh, you know, I might be back, but I'll be on a crawl later. I said, okay, crawl away, man. Just don't walk. Crawl. Crawl under a rock. Crawl, man. Crawl. You guys go ahead and crawl around. Yeah, we'll catch you on a repeater crawl next Friday. Yeah, hold your breath, Don. <sighs> Blow, blow up a balloon. It's easier to hold it because you'll have to be holding it for a long time. What's my report? Uh, pretty good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, pretty good. And 60 bushels over. <laughs> Something like that. 
Yeah, you're wiggling my S meter. Oh, you, you got four bars on my Yasu. Okay, that that that's good. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. I don't know. I'm old-fashioned. I like to deal with numbers. Yeah, and, and all these signal reports over the repeaters, and they're like three miles apart. Okay, a repeater is a good place to give an audio and a re signal report on a repeater. Uh huh. It's all about how well you can hit the repeater, not how well your signal is coming out of your audio modulation, any of that. It's just, can you hit the repeater really good? Yeah, then you're good. You're good. Well, you're a mile away, and you can hit it? Well, you're good. You're good. But you're coming in 60 pounds, Don. Yeah, I must be. <laughs> yeah, I hear that all the time. And, you know, beyond repeaters, what else do they know? Oh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Um... They, they eventually learn full scale. Yeah, they, they would always say full quieting until you ask them what that means. So now, so now they're saying nine bushels. Nine bushels plus thirty. Thirty carrots and a uh, tub of butter. <laughs> yeah, they might as well be saying that. Ah, oh, you're coming in full quieting. What did you say? I missed parts of that. You're full quieting. I missed most of that. Say it again. Yeah, you're five nine. You need your call sign again, again, again. They shouldn't allow text on repeaters. They should. Yes, you should have to be a general before you can get on a repeater. At least a lieutenant. <laughs> something, something, something more than what we got out there now. <laughs> 